What's up, everybody? This is Mark Mavex Forever, and welcome to another episode of、uh, Let's Make a PID Loop on Integral. So, in the previous few videos, we just covered the first thing I want to,、uh, the first control method on Integral that I really, really want to stress, which is the idea of an integral active zone. We don't want the integral to be active and mess around with us when we are well, when the integral shouldn't be working. When the proportion is working properly, so that this is the entire point of us with self setting up this little if and else statement. So hopefully you got some intuition about that and you understand why I'm why I'm doing this. Excuse me. And、um, this episode we are going to cover the second method, which is basically the essentially can be combined in the same algorithm as this one, but.、Um, It's officially recognized as the second method in P- in ORS PID guide, so I'm going to do this. Well, I'm going to call this the second method of control, second algorithm of control. Imagine this. With this entire algorithm, you finally your robots the proportion stops functioning right here, and your、uh, integral immediately starts accumulating as your momentum pushes you around here, and then the, the integral keeps pushing you all the way to zero. And then what? Think about it. If your error is zero according to our algorithm, your proportion is deadly zero because if your error is zero, proportion is just a constant times zero, which is zero. If your error is zero, your proportion is zero, which means that the proportion when you hit zero, the proportion is deadly 100% not going to do anything to the robot. However, is is this the same case with our limited integral? The answer is is not. You see, the integral it is a、uh, an accumulative value, which means that it is a value over an accumulated certain period. Which means that starting ac- to accumulate from here, you all the way go accumulate, accumulate, accumulate all the way zero. Finally, you accu-、uh, you accumulate enough power to get you to the target. However, the accumulated power is still here. Which means that the robot. If you don't play some proper control algorithm on the,、um, if you don't place any additional control algorithm on the uh, uh, on the integral, the robot is going to keep moving forward after it hits zero, after、uh, your proportion gets to zero, because the integral as an accumulated value is not zero; it is positive when it hits the target. The only thing. That's going to happen when、uh, to to integral when his target is that it's going to stop accumulating because your error is zero, or the error is very small. It's going to stop accumulating, but the accumulated value is still there. It's still added to our to our、uh, final power, and the final power is still sent to the base. Which means that with this algorithm, you're going to see a lot of oscillation. Which means that you are almost guaranteed to see an overshoot with the integral because the integral came all the way from here to here. Its value is already like thirty fifty, thirty to fifty, and then after it hits the target, it's not going to stop. The value is still there. It goes over a little bit, and then is the、um, value starts to accumulate inversely. It's going to come back. The proportion to help it help it a little bit, and then it's going to just keep oscillating. We don't want that oscillation, or we want to reduce that oscillation. We are going to talk about how derivative reduces oscillation. However, in this case, we want to talk about we want to talk about the second method with which we limit the integral, which is to set the integral to zero, deadly deadly on there. Uh, immediately after we hit the target, which makes sense. You see that、uh, if we hit the target, we want everything to be zero, and we want the robot to start to, to stop moving, basically, so that、uh, well, basically nothing affects the.、Um, uh, I mean, the robot should should just sit there, right there at the target after we hit it. That's what we want to do. That's what we want to see. What we want to see is that the robot goes woo all the way to the target, and then boo just. Goes right there, hit the target, sit right there, rather than oscillate a little bit or something. So we're just going to add a little bit thing to、uh, a little thing to this little algorithm, and、uh, we are going to set the integral raw to zero when the error is zero, with the most barbaric mean setting it to zero. All right. So、um, if 
the absolute um, value of error is smaller than integral active zone, which is essentially means when the error, when the robot is within this zone, we activate integral. We act we activate uh, we activate integral. However, we just talk about that at this single point, at this single point of um, within this integral active zone, which is the target, we don't want the integral, we want to set it to zero. Which means that right now we are pushing our, we are changing the definition of our integral active zone. It is this zone excluding the target. So that we're going to say that if, and our condition has to change according to that, if our absolute error is smaller than integral active zone, which is basically in this zone, and we gotta say strictly, and the the um, the uh, error is not zero. Excuse me. The yes, the error is not zero. So we are saying that the integral active zone. This condition is only true. We only activate our integral when I'm in this zone, and my error is somewhere out here rather than zero. When the error is not zero, and I'm in this zone, so that if I'm in the zone and my error and my error is not zero. Only in this case, we want to activate the integral. Excuse me, uh, is, is this right? Is this, I, I'm going to make sure this operation is right. This operator uh, oper is, is right. Yes, it's right. I, I just, I, I just, I was just going to make sure that the uh, order of the e equal sign and the exclama uh, exclamation mark there correctly this way and is correct when the error does not equal to zero and the integral active zone is uh, greater than the absolute value of error I s we activate integral because it's that that's where we need the integral and what happens if our error is zero if our error is zero which would basically be classified into the else statement if my error is zero, I'm going to set the integral row equal to zero. If my absolute error is outside of the integral active zone, I'm going to set in my integral row to zero. So basically, we just added this one single tiny bit, and we solved a lot of issues. We solved a lot of oscillation issues. Because right here, after you hit the zero, after you hit your target, the integral right now is deadly set to zero and the proportion is according to this algorithm is zero so the only thing left there is that little bit of momentum that your probably will ca cause a little bit of oscillation and some fine tuning will reduce that and uh, our future derivative will eliminate that uh, so that this is just by adding this little thing we eliminated a lot of unnecessary hassle and unwanted oscillation caused by the integral and that's what I want to show you this is basically the second method of uh, controlling the integral and uh, hopefully you learn something today and this is Marmavex forever and I will see you in the next video